Uh, right, let's get into business. All the chefs that come on the show, battle against the clock on each other to test how fast they can make a simple three egg omelette. Theo, just outside of our top ten, 20 seconds. But Wolfgang, out of everybody on our board, uh, we've got a plethora of chefs on our board. Who would yep. you like to beat on here? All right, let's let me look. I don't have my glasses. Well, this, is, this, where's this guy here? Oh, this this guy. Oh, ah. we're going here. <laughs> this guy, Martin Blunos. Martin this, Blunos. This okay. guy here. Two ah. Michelin stars. So a bit like so, you. Okay, a little bit like us. There you yeah. go. So usual rules apply. Okay. A uh, three egg omelette cooks as fast as you can. Let's put the clocks on the screens, please. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right. Come on, Wolfgang. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. We take time. I always like those omelets you get when you go to an all-inclusive. You <laughs> bit like this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a good concentration they get at the face, but this, it's not sticky, which is good. I might go that that can take your time, so we go slow. <laughs> huh? That's right. I always go slow, Wolfgang. You see? I knew it. So you put it, fold it nicely together. Are we under two minutes still or what? That's beautiful. Now look at that. Look at this. That's it. And then, that's it on what I love, put a little caviar on top. I always oh, carry a little oh, caviar. Look at that. Hey, do you want a spoon? Look at that. <laughs> that now, what would you like? <laughs> look at that. Well, it's up to you to choose. No, it's not. It's up to me. No, it's up to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Sorry, Theo. I like some caviar. But yeah, you've no. just lost. It's, it's not. It's on visual. Mm. That's actually, that's actually, yeah. It's one of the best omelets we've had. <laughs> but you use a little caviar. I didn't put salt because I know we had caviar, so. Not bad, but uh, I will be faster next time, but. <laughs> Trust me. Right. Wolfgang, where am I? In the middle somewhere, huh? Oh. Now give me a good grade. <laughs> you help me? It's, it's a minute off the caviar. OK. You did it. <gasps> Quicker than these guys. Oh, you mean I'm in the top half? No. Of the draw? No. I can... Top half of the wrong side of the board. I, you I did it in 33.40, but you brought some caviar, so I knocked two seconds off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So 31.40. Still Woo. pretty, pretty good time there. Right up with Mark Hicks there. And uh, one of the hairy bikers, which you probably don't know who he okay, is. Okay, well, I'm yeah. not yet, not yet. There you go, right. But we have another challenge. <laughs> Theo. <laughs> I don't know where you are. Where are you? Theo, is where there already? Yeah. Uh, there you uh, go. 20 seconds. Are you getting older 20. and faster? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. That's you a did. problem. <laughs> <laughs> you were consistent. You did it in 20.68. Still uh, a respectable time, but not on the board. Uh, you didn't beat your time. Oh, Still, mind. best omelets we've had for quite a number of weeks. There you go. Will Diane be facing Food Heaven, that wonderful old-fashioned dessert, a Swiss roll filled with raspberry jam and cream, or Food Hell parsley in a parsley suit with asparagus and pork scratchings? And I'm sure we're going to get some caviar on the top of that as well. So yeah. Theo... Right, it's that time of the show to answer some of your foodie questions. Each caller is also going to help decide what Diane will be eating at the end of the show. So, food, uh, first on the line, we've got Hayley from London. Are you there, Hayley? Yes, I am. What's your question for us? I'd like some recipes for gooseberries. Gooseberry recipes. So, Theo, gooseberry recipes. Uh, well, I would make like a, um, a compote, you know, the sugar, yeah. a little bit of water, sort of stew the gooseberries down because they're quite tart. And then I would yeah. do something like um, a seared bit of mackerel, get a mackerel fillet, cook yeah. it uh, skin side down. So the fat sort of, you know, just sort of melts into the, the fish, turn it over, just have a little bit of compote. It's a perfect combination because it's quite fatty and that sort of I acidity. Still, I still like, I mean, you mentioned your old classic mm. desserts. I like the old gooseberry crumble, I think. That's well, I've got a gooseberry bush in my the back of my garden and uh, I, I don't really do anything with that. I think if you pick the gooseberries and then rather yeah. than stew them down, if you roll them in sugar and butter, yeah. mm. lots and lots of sugar and butter, place them on a, on a dish and then cover them over with a crumble mixture and then roast them in the oven for about sort of 30 oh. to 40 minutes. It all sort of squadges down together. It's delicious. Squadge, good word. Squadges down to get a new word. There you go. <laughs> uh, what dish would you like to see at the end of the show? Heaven or hell? Heaven, please. Heaven sounds good. There you go. And Sean from Lincolnshire there, Sean? Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. What's your question for us? Uh, well, my very beautiful girlfriend makes an amazing Italian pizza base, and I, when I make it, it tastes like a foot. Oh. <laughs> <That's not good. laughs> what? <laughs> I need a great recipe, uh, just for the base, yep. so I can what? beat her in our pizza off next week. You so. mean the base is the, the dough? The yeah, dough. so okay. how would you do the pizza Well, it's dough. very simple. You mix flour with a little salt, some olive oil, and then you have yeast and warm water. 
And then you mix the flour really well in a mixer or by hand. Pour in the water slowly and you're going to make a great, great dough that way. I also add a little touch of sugar or a little touch of honey to, cru to brown the crust a little bit better. Yeah. So very you, simple. But you, can, you can actually, with double zero flour is the one that you buy over yeah, here. Yeah, we use all purpose or, yeah. or flour. But over here, probably and, double yeah. zero. And a bit of semolina fan, you roll it out, you get a lovely crust yeah. on, on it. Yeah, that's a little semolina and flour. Make on the it top. A, the day ahead. It is better to make it in advance because the yeast takes time to react and to work. There you go. You've got some top tips. There you go. Uh, what dish would you like to see at the, at the end of the show? Heaven and hell. Well, my daughter, beautiful Jamie, uh, chose hell, so she's the boss here. So <laughs> children, never ask children or animals. Well, there you go. She chose uh, hell. <laughs> and Craig from Glasgow, are you there, Craig? Uh, sure am, yeah. Hi ah, there, what's your question for us? Uh, basically, what it is, I'm starting off as a professional chef, um, and I've got this beautiful tablet from the fishmongers, and I'm just, you know, trying to think of the best way to cook it and what to serve with it, yeah. rather than either poaching or pan fry. Sounds good. Is it on the bone or is it off the bone? Yeah, it's on the bone. Yeah. On the bone. Best way to have turbot oh, on the bone. Oh yeah, a, a whole fish. I would, I would um, get some some coarse sea salt, yeah. a bit of it, sort of chopped herbs, like rosemary, something quite coarse, or thyme, a bit of water, make a kind of salty sort of paste, and then uh, get a tray, put the salt on the bottom of the tray, put the turbot on top, salt on top of that and then bake it in the oven, you'll get this incredible crust on the turbot. Yeah. Crack the crust, and underneath you'll have the most beautifully cooked yeah. turbot, and, you'll, and it'll keep all that juice It only in. takes it's about sort of 20 minutes, 25 and minutes. And it doesn't take that long. really moist that way. It's yeah. really, it almost steams it inside. It's really moist. It's yeah. delicious. It's a little just... olive oil at the end on top, and you're in heaven. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of lemon, and don't take it off the bun. Cook it. So I have to agree with Denise and go for heaven. Heaven, there you go. And uh, Michelle from Derbyshire, you there, Michelle? I am, James, yes. What's your question for us? I'd like to know um, an alternative topping for cupcakes. I've got the um, buttercream mustard, so yeah. all the different things, but... One that you could perhaps pour across the top that actually sets and doesn't push the cases away from the cake. Have you got any ideas for that? Top of a cupcake. A top of a cupcake. Instead cup of buttercream. I use a little bit of chocolate ganache, which means you melt your dark chocolate over boiling water in a bowl. Don't put any water in there. Yeah. Put a little cream in it, a little butter in it. If you like some flavour, like a little whiskey. We are in uh, <laughs> Great Britain. <laughs> and <laughs> then put it on. Especially good for grown-ups, not for the kids. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. Chocolate <laughs> yeah. ganache is lovely. What dish would you like to see at the end of the show? Heaven, and, heaven or hell? It has to be the cake, so heaven. Heaven it is. <laughs> um, Patrick from Yorkshire, are you there, Patrick? Yeah, good morning. What's your question for us? Um, yeah, I'd like an alternative for cook cooking liver, please. Liver. Is that calves liver or chicken liver? The calves liver. Calves oh, liver, over my to you. Favorite. Oh, well, I, I would um, <laughs> get a, a hot pan, put some butter in the pan, season the liver. Pan fry the liver both sides, nice and sort of medium Did rare. Did you flour it first or not? No. Yeah. And then yeah. I would just get some pancetta or some smoked bacon and just fry the bacon so it gets nice and crispy. Bit of sage, take all those things out, pour the fat out, bit of balsamic vinegar, little dash of cream or, or butter, and yeah. then pour that on top. Lovely. Ooh. Absolutely delicious. And delicious a little polenta on the side. Yeah. Exactly.